Howdy campers and welcome back to another episode of Collection Log Completionist, the series where I hope you guys enjoy, so I hope you guys enjoy. According to the loot tracker, that is page number nine, and it is the first one in the tracker that's a duplicate. So I turned on the hitboxes for these mithril dragons and check this out. The spawn for this mithril dragon is inside of these rocks. Not only that, but he's also like partially off the ledge here. And then the moment he moves away, he can't move back in there now. So he spawns in a location that he can't move back to. That's such a weird thing. That's so weird. Yet another ancient page. I feel like I'm getting really lucky on not getting dupes here, but I won't complain and I'll just take it. Another ancient page. We've got our second dupe ancient page, which at this point is to be expected. I think we've got over half of them now. I think we're at 14 or 15 of 26. I decided to swap over to the suffering because the seer's ring doesn't really do much. It's just a little mage accuracy. And the shadow's already so accurate that I don't think it's worth it. I'm not hitting 100% of the time, but I am hitting most of the time. So it is possible Seer's Ring is still better, but the Suffering will do a little chip damage, and also the Prayer Bonus on the Suffering could be nice to extend trips a little bit longer. Wasn't even looking, but there's another Ancient Page. Starting to get up there, so dupes are pretty common. Accidentally just clicked through it, but 103 defense right there. Another ancient page, just ignore this death pile right here. I definitely didn't go AFK for too long and die, don't worry about it. Well, the shadow is starting to tank in price a little bit, so Joseph wants it back so he can sell it, which is a shame because I wanted to be able to get to Sarah with it, but understandable. And thank you again for that big lend was huge for killing mithril dragons uh, that was actually incredible i probably will not go back to grinding those until i can get a shadow of my own because it was nuts there oh one thing we've got to do with these mithril dragons before we finish up is all of these chewed bones i think i already had two of them in the bank there but still 32 chewed bones along with a lot of pages we ended up getting a ton of dupes there at the end, but even still, it was like a dozen new log slots, I think, if we take a look at the log here. Yeah, all the way up to 18. I think we only had four or five before, I think, so a lot of new log slots. And now if we can get lucky with these chewed bones, maybe another one. I think I've only sacrificed like five bones before. Okay, eight bones before. Still not very many. I believe it's a one in 256 to get the dragon full helm from here. Yep, one in 256 as well as a one in 32,000 to get it from the actual mithril dragon itself. kind of crazy how bad the loot is from these things considering how rare it is it's so rare to get i guess not so rare it's a one in 42 from mithril dragons to get a chewed bone and then you know you just get this absolute junk Huh. Couldn't have uh, given me a two dose prayer mix, huh? That would have been too OP. That'd give me a one dose. Never lucky, I suppose. But that does put us at about, what is that? A sixth of the way to the drop rate off of the chewed bones. Not too bad, I suppose. Decent uh, chunk out of the way then. All right, just to be sure on this, dehydration on, on a diet on, 
Food and other healing items no longer heal you within the raid. Dehydration. Potions that restore health will no longer have effect within the raid. So now if we go in... Okay, take damage. Now if we try Karambwan. Been preventing from consuming food inside tombs of a masket. You've been prevented from consuming potions within tombs of a masket. And then all of these still just restore HP. Again, I suppose they're mixes, not potions, so potentially uh, intentional, but seems unintentional. Here we are back at my favoriteest place in the whole wide world, so let's do a little bit more TOA. I'm just going to run some 200 solos, I think. I think that's just going to be a nice in-between between being chill and some decent XP and decent purple rate, I should say. And let's just take a quick look at the log. There we go. We've just gotten the ward and the light bearer for our purples. So maybe we can get a new one of the gems. And I'm really trying to do TOA until at least the first cape. And I kind of want to solo one of the big ticket items, a Missouri piece or a fang, but we'll see how the RNG lies. Well, that was fucking awesome. I died on Baba because I nearly DC'd and then I didn't make time because time doesn't stop when you kill the warden. God, I'm loving this place so much. Absolutely of jorts. Managed to die at Akka, final phase, and the same time that I killed him. So that was pretty chill. Well, I died at Akka again during orbs. And then I just died at Warden because I went to click back on the pillar, but it was dead and it drugged me through one of the power boxes and killed me. So that was fucking awesome. I love this raid. Is that? Holy shit, that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. God damn. I should... Wow, yeah. Yax was uh, out DPSing us by a bit, I suppose. I like PK. By a mere 20%, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for being a little salty in the last couple clips, but TOA has really started to be draining for me. But we were doing some easy clues, and that's 700 more stacked now. So now, with all of these, it means that we'll hit 8,000 total easy clues completed, and be on the front page for easy clues. It's all we're missing from the easy log is the monk robes top G. So we've gotten pretty unlucky with only having one monk robes roll so far and not too many team capes, but I believe the expected KC to complete easy clues is 7,900. So with these will also officially be overrate for completing the easy log. Hey, flared trousers. That's a very nice get. Always nice to see those money items. Another pair of flared trousers, very nice. Hey, another team cape, also very nice.
also, I believe we are now front page for Easy Clues. The old rank 25 was 77.15, so there we go. We are now on the front page. We had started out with insanely good master luck, so it looks like we're even and out now. And we are now officially dry for easy clues. I really don't mind though, I got super lucky on mediums, and I probably prefer easies more than mediums to be honest. Mediums are probably supposed to be better GP than easies, but I never got ranger boots. Wow! <laughs> Another pair of flared trousers, okay, that's number three. I only got one pair of ranger boots to finishing the medium log, so I mean, if that's how it was going to be, I'd rather do easies. They are much simpler and more fun in my opinion. Hey, you ham joint. Okay. Been getting pretty lucky. Only 700 clues, three trousers, a ham joint, and a team cape. Not too bad. And on the very last one, a master clue, too. Well, we somehow managed to get unlucky on masters in the end. We were on rate for 14, and we were at 10 after, like, 300. And then just didn't get any more. But 12 is still a lot. So let's see here. Mimic, nice. I was going to wonder if he was going to spawn those at all. He just didn't spawn them. Funny, funny. All right, let's pick up that plank. Probably a world record mimic kill right there, I think. And what do we got? Hey, a samurai outfit piece. Very, very nice. Looking very snazzy there. Five more caskets left. And nothing else, but I will take one new unique. That is quite nice. And that is going to do it for this video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and you too can become a camper without ever having to touch grass. And until next time, happy camping.